Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a rather inspirational episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. As I'm sure many are aware by now, India has submitted itself to Hindu nationalism and subsequently plunged itself into the pit of lawlessness. The victims, as always, the innocent, unsuspecting general public. And to be more specific, the Muslims. So in a sea of bleakness and uncensored violence that is emerging from India, I came across a clip which quite frankly showed me raw, unadulterated Iman and it left me speechless. Let's be real, it's easy to be pious when everything's going right, but a true fair test only comes in hardship. We here in the West may refuse to pray Salah or obey Allah when it comes to maybe one of our du'as not being accepted or one hardship but here is a matter of survival and I need to add in Islam if you are ever in such a situation where it's life or death you are allowed to say certain things just so you don't pass away. Obviously don't mean it in your heart but it's allowed. But look despite this allowance being given in Islam they still opted not to take it by Allah. You know, we see so many inspirational clips going around and long 15 minutes with emotional music and slow motion guy in the gym, you know, really sweating. But this is the true inspirational clip. This is true inspiration. Steadfastness in the sight of adversity and uncertainty. And to be fair, this is pretty much what everybody's going through, whether you're in the West, whether you're in the East, wherever you are, but obviously at different intensities. Over there it's life and death, here alhamdulillah we have some luxury. But yet still our Iman and faith is probably weaker than theirs. When we have been showered with more of Allah's blessings but yet look how ungrateful we are. You know lack of food and poverty is no joke. In fact the hadith even likens poverty to disbelief. In fact it can cause a person easily to transition to disbelief because of desperation. And of course let it be said that in this month there are many such families in many countries be it Syria, Yemen, Palestine, China, Afghanistan, Iraq, you name it. There's loads of such families and we need to be generous and let's donate. I'm not asking for any money in this video, it's not an appeal video because I didn't want somebody to say oh he's made this because he's appealing for such and such charity. And I didn't want the message to be diluted because it's an amazing message of faith and having strong faith despite adversity. If you're going through stuff in your homes, charity alleviates hardship. There's so many virtues of charity but I really want you to keep this family in your du'as. Yes, what a remarkable family. And I want to end with this comment that I saw under this video. And that was, they may be poor but their Iman is priceless. Wow, <laughs> that is quite profound. May Allah strengthen our weak faith, may Allah make us grateful and more importantly may Allah make us a valued member of this Ummah. That we do not waste our life away. Ameen and I will see you guys next time inshaAllah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.